Welcome to another week on the Body Bags. Your Monday host, W Doubles here as always. Um, so yeah, I got an interesting flick this week uh, from Lucio Fulci, uh, 1984's Murder Rock, uh, Dancing Death is its uh, subtitle, and uh, it's also known as uh, Slash Dance is one, at one point, which is, I think is pretty fitting because it's a uh, it's basically a Flash Dance horror movie because <laughs> it was right at the time of those kind of movies and it ha definitely has that feel um, anyways I've just always thought this was an underrated flick so um, one of his most under talked about flicks by far um, but anyways like I said uh, this definitely has your uh, flash dance 80s cheesy feel though um, you know, it's pretty bad music in my opinion, um, but I found it entertaining at the same time. Like, I'm able to laugh at a lot of these dance sequences and stuff in this flick. Um, basically, this takes place at a New York uh, prestigious ballet studio, but it's more like a disco dance. Of course, it's right at the time of flash dance and movies like that, um, so it has that feel. Although, the soundtrack is done by the amazing uh, Keith Emerson, so he puts his own little prog rock feel to some of the to some of the music so he and uh you know especially some of the suspenseful scenes he really puts his hand on it and makes it you know right up there with his works like inferno and his other horror movie soundtracks in my opinion um but yeah basically a ballet studio sorry to jump around uh ballet studio is the basic plot though and setting of the flick in new york and um there's a gloved killer going around uh, killing women with a, or, yeah. There's a, uh, black glove killer going around, uh, killing off students one by one with a, uh, a very large hat pin, which is a very large, uh, needle, which I thought was interesting. Um, you know, maybe one of the, the downfalls of this, maybe it's not a blood filled splatter fest, um, as a lot of, you know, Fulci stuff, zombie and the beyond, and Gates of the Hell stuff. Uh, it's not a over the top gore fest, um, but I think the kills are still uh, still well done though. Even though it's not over the top in the blood, um, it's pretty uh, pretty well visually done. And um, to go along with most of those kills, most of the women are topless, so there is lots, lots, lots of nudity in this flick. So uh, you know. As a guy, you can't really complain too much with that. Um, so yeah, there's some beautiful women in this flick. Uh, but yeah, basic rundown on that one. Uh, could have been a little more well done on the, the kills department, maybe. But I, like I said, I think they're still well done for what they are. Um, the soundtrack does seem a little annoying at times, but like I said, I, I found it entertaining overall. But uh, the cinematography is is fantastic in this flick. Uh, a lot of interesting camera work, uh, moving camera shots, uh, just you know, visually uses of colors. There's a couple scenes with like just a room full of TV monitors. Um, you know, the color and stuff done in some of those scenes are just very visually stimulating awesome stuff um, and see that's the stuff that gets me the pros in this this flick and really enjoyed it said it has the masked glove the masked uh, killer the black glove killer which is common in the uh, giallo flicks um, but this doesn't come off like your traditional uh, your traditional giallo to me I mean it does have its similarities but it does have its American slasher vibe to it as well, especially the 80s who done its st stuff. Um, good stuff there. Said I, I don't have a whole lot of complaints to this. One. I give it a solid 7.5. Um, it's it's a it's a underrated uh, Fulci flick by far though. I'm not sure why many people are down on this one. Maybe they have complaints with the. Uh, the lack of the overtop gore that's maybe typical in some of the Fulci stuff, but uh, still a damn good slasher horror flick from Fulci, of course, the master. So 
I suggest everybody check it out. Of course, this is the double disc of uh, Shriek Show. Shriek Show Released Edition double disc. Uh, very cool. A lot of cool special features on this one. Um, I don't believe it's really available on a great widescreen. This is one that really needs maybe a Blu-ray upgrade. That kind of stuff. The picture quality and stuff is passable on this one, but like I said, I, I would like to see this one get a good crisp uh, Blu-ray release. So. Hey, y'all. Till next week. Hell yeah, y'all. Till next week. Peace out. As always, appreciate y'all watching.